Hi, it's Chester of Blue Pecan Computer Training. And in this video, I want to show you how to create alerts or notifications. Here's my scenario. I've got a list of invoices. Here's the date due for each invoice. So I'm alerted or notified that the invoices are overdue. One by this column here. Yes, automatically appears in these cells if these date dues are in the past. Second, you can see that the cells are given a different color background if the date due is in the past. And also I get a notification that automatically appears in a little pop-up window that lists all the invoices that are overdue. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create these three separate solutions. Okay, let's get started. So we'll start off with the column that tells us that the date due is in the past. And to start doing this, we need to use the today function. And today is useful because it always returns the current date. So the current date today, the time of recording is the 14th of April, 2021. And now I want to be alerted about an invoice, not on the day it's due, but two days before. Now this is where this value comes into play here bring forward reminder days and I've said it's two days there. So I'm going to add this value in H2 to the today function. I need to fix that because I'll be copying the formula down. I'm using the F4 key to do that. If F4 doesn't work for you, just put the dollars in front of the H and the two. Press enter. And you can see now I'm two days on from today's date. Today's date being the 14th of April. 2021. Now, what I want to say is that if this date here is greater than or equal to the due date, then I want a reminder. So let's just write that little test in. I'm going to say, is the result of this formula greater than or equal to the date due? If I press enter, I get a true here. And if I copy this down, I get three trues for invoice one, three and four. The others are further in the future, so I don't need to be sent a reminder about these invoices. So instead of true and forces, I want yeses for the trues and blank cells for the forces. So this is where I can use my if, and I can say, if this is true, then I want a yes. Otherwise, I want a blank cell. So an empty text string, close the bracket, and copy this down, and I get my notifications in the send reminder column. The only problem with this is if I deleted this date, I would get a yes in this column. And I don't want that to be the case. So I'm gonna add another condition to my if statement. I want to say only return yes if this is true and if this cell isn't blank. Now to have those two conditions, I use the and function. And I'm gonna say, is the date due not blank? comma, and the second test is the existing test within the if statement. So I just close the bracket for the end at the end of that, I press enter, and copy that down. And now if I delete the date due column, I still get a blank cell in the send reminder column. Just undo that. Now the other thing that could go wrong is someone could type in a date in the wrong format and then where I should be sent a reminder, I'm not being sent a reminder. Now, the way around that is to set some data validation on the cells in the date due column. So if I select all those cells, go to the data tab on my ribbon, go over to data validation, and in the allow menu, choose custom, and then write this formula. Equals is number, open bracket, D3. Now, the reason I'm using is number in this context is because dates are numeric values in Excel. So if the value in D3 is a number, the formula will return true, which means that the entry will be accepted. If it's not a number, this formula will return false, which means the values will not be accepted. The reason I'm referring to D3 is because that's the active cell. And as this data validation is applied to the other cells that have been selected, this 
cell reference will automatically change to D4, D5, D6, D7. Now I need an error alert a message, which I've already put in here. Title is date due, and then a little error message. Please enter the date due in the correct format, DDMMYYY with slashes. Thanks, click on OK. So now if I type in a date in the incorrect format, I get this little message and I have to retry it and enter the date in the correct format. So the next method will alert us if the invoice is overdue by automatically coloring the background of the cells. And to do this, we use conditional formatting. Now the logical test that we've used within our if formula is the same test that we need to use within our conditional formatting. So I'm just gonna click on this logical test argument in the little screen tip. It selects the logical test and then I'm gonna copy it. Control C and press enter. Then I'm going to select the cells that I want to apply the conditional formatting to. I go to the home tab on my ribbon, go to conditional formatting, new rule, use a formula to determine which cells to format, type in equals in this little box here, and then control V to paste my formula in. Go to the format button and I'll choose a background color orange background, gold background, click on OK, and there we are. It applies the conditional formatting to the invoices that I need to be notified of. OK, let's move on to the final method, which uses that little pop-up dialog box that tells us which invoices we need to chase. To create that little dialog box that automatically appears when we open the workbook, you are going to need to use a little bit of VBA code, which I've included in the description of this video. You'll need to paste the code into the Visual Basic Editor. There is a shortcut key for opening the Visual Basic Editor, and that's Alt F11. Now you will need to see the Project Explorer to do what we are about to do. And if it isn't visible, just go to View Project Explorer. And then within the Project Explorer, you need to select this workbook. If it isn't already selected, double click on it. And then you'll get this code window on the right of your screen and paste in the code that I've supplied in the description of this video. Now I will explain a little bit about how this code works. I've set a variable here called date due column, and that refers to the date due column in my Excel worksheet. I've defined down here which cells make up the date due column. That's D3, and I've set down to D100, just in case I add some more invoices to my data. And then I've used a for each next loop to loop through each of the dates due within the date due column. And I've used an if statement within this for each next loop. And the tests within the if statement are the same as the tests that we used in our if formula earlier on. The first test is, is the date due not empty? And then the second test asks whether the current date, which is returned by the date function, is greater than or equal to the date due minus range H2. And if you remember, range H2, if I just go back to my workbook, was the cell that contained my bring forward reminder days value. So if both those things are true, we want to add that invoice number to the list of invoice numbers that are overdue. And that's what this line of code does. I've declared a variable called notification message, and that is equal to whatever was already in the notification message, plus the invoice number that we're currently looping through. And I've picked up that invoice number using the offset method. So I said, take the date due and offset by no rows and two columns to the left. And if we look at our data, you can see that the invoice number is two columns to the left. Then once we've looped through all of the date dues in the date due column, I then run this if statement. If the notification message is empty, then I return the message. You do not need to chase any invoices today, else I return the message, the following invoices need chasing today, concatenated with all of the invoice numbers that are now contained within the 
variable notification message. Now, because we've saved this subprocedure within the workbook object, it will automatically run when we open the workbook. You can see here that the event that is going to trigger this subprocedure is workbook open. So I'll close down the Visual Basic Editor. I'm going to close and save this workbook. And then when we reopen it, we should see that notification. I'll reopen the workbook and you can see the notification appears. Click on OK. OK, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully you found it useful. If you have, please subscribe and I'll see you next video.